All right, everyone, it is Friday, and you know what that means. It is time for the NPL Video Game Club. On this Friday, March the 22nd of 2024, currently around 41 degrees Fahrenheit and sunny here in Norwalk, Connecticut. Hopefully it's decent enough in your neck of the woods. Thank you so much for being here. Just want to give a shout out to Pearl. Hello, Pearl. Square Pegs, Jay. I saw Henry was there earlier. What's going on? Happy Friday. Anyone else watching? Appreciate it. Thank you. Going on by to this little tiny neck of the woods of the internet. And hope your week is going well so far. And it's, the week is wrapping up, right? The weekend is just around the corner. So thank you for being here. As always, your host here, Uncle Dio. Yes, Uncle Dio. That is my name. Don't you forget it. Pearl, remember me? I was the person that said I lived in North America when you were inside of the City Kingdom, and I said I won't be able to get most of the streams, but here I am. Yes, yes, when I was in the, uh, the Metro Kingdom, but also New Donk City. Yes. How are you, Pearl? Welcome back. I am still on Mario Odyssey, so the, the Odyssey continues. But uh, before I begin with that, there are some orders of business I do need to talk about for the library itself. So without further ado, over at the Seed Library, it is open. For the spring season, if you stop on by to the main entrance, the main branch, you head on over to Studio One, you will see this display on the wall. If you have a library card, you are entitled to grab yourself a selection of seeds for free. No additional cost. All you need to do is, again, have a library card. You fill out a little slip of paper in front of the display, and then you can help yourself to a variety of seed packets. So these things range from Vegetables, herbs, spices, things of that nature, you know, lettuce, uh, parsley, uh, you know, things like that. Basil. So, yeah, it was just a good way to start off if you are starting off with your gardening adventure, an indoor or outdoor garden. And I am actually posting a link to a page which gives you a startup guide. If you are looking to start your own seed collection at home. And again, this is a free service offered by the library. Also, the fine folks at Vita and Simplify CT are hosting tax preparation over at the library. Uh, so let me put a link for that in the chat as well. So yeah, this is happening every Thursday. So they were here yesterday at the library and it's also happening every other Saturday, which tomorrow is actually a date where they will be at the library from noon to 5 p.m to help you file your taxes. So they help file your state and federal income taxes for free. Yes, free. And you still get your tax returns. So uh, yeah, this is a, a volunteer program. It is absolutely 100% free. These folks are certified by the IRS as being uh, tax filers or a uh, certified tax filer, tax prep, I should say, agents. And it is not just happening at the library, it's also happening at the South Norwalk branch. And also, if you look at the graphic, you will see on the right, there are other locations in the Fairfield County area where you can get free income tax assistance. Now, again, this is also happening outside of Connecticut, too. So if you head on over to the link that I put in, simplifyct.org, that will also get you some more information in terms of local assistance areas or venues, I should say, in your neck of the woods. You can also call them at 860-590-8910. So again, this is a free program. Just another one of the perks of having a local library to be able to offer the public 
assistance in this way. Taxes are scary. They're not fun. You know, it's kind of a grown-up thing. But uh, there's nothing wrong with getting help in case you need it. And that's what the folks at Simplify CT are here for, to help you out. All right, and last but not least, the library will be closed next Friday, March 29th, for Good Friday, as well as next Sunday, March 31st, for Easter Sunday. So what does that mean about the NPL Video Game Club? So because the library is closed next Friday, the NPL Video Game Club will be offline. Uh, when the library is closed, the stream is closed. And actually, I will be watching Godzilla X Kong, the new X new Empire. So I will I won't even be here. I will be out in the theater, uh, basking in the glory of my boy Godzilla. So yeah. So just as a heads up, there is no stream next Friday, but I will be back the following week, which would already be April. It'll be April fifth. So just giving a heads up beforehand. In case you stop by next Friday and wonder, hey, why is there no stream? Well, one, it's a holiday. So usually when there's holidays and the library's closed, uh, the stream does not go on. So just giving you forewarning, just so you don't get your hopes up for next week. All right. So let me all switch on over to the gameplay screen here. And let me switch on over to the Switch. And last week, I actually played a little bit of Princess Peach Showtime as per requests from the viewers, such as yourself. And now I'm Odyssey. So what did I do last week? I completed the Luncheon Kingdom. So I fought uh, the giant bird on top of the volcano. I think he was called Cockatiel. Cockatiel. And I defeated him and then wrapped up the stream. So when I wrapped up the stream, there were about four more moons in the area i did collect those off stream they were fairly straightforward so i got those so i think i'm done with the luncheon kingdom for now at least i think uh the game wants me to go to the next area i'm pretty sure i'm good because if i go to toad he doesn't have any more hints uh, as you see i have a new outfit a painter's outfit but if i go to the Yep, I've got 100 purple coins. I got all those. 48 out of 56 moons. What's up, Rax? Happy Friday to you, my man. Hope you're doing well. So yeah, I, I did collect about three or four moons off stream last week when I completed the stream. So I think I'm good in terms of everything that I can get right now. Because usually if there's something I didn't get, there would be... Actually, there's a toad. But there's no name for it. So what I've noticed in the past is that's usually something that'll open up later on, which I'm guessing is post-game stuff. Other than that, there's nothing there. See, it, it, it's in it's in the lava, it's in the lake. But I'm pretty sure uh, I, I can't get it right now. You know what it might be? You know what it is? You know what it is? I'm sorry. It is a picture. That's what it is. There was a picture that I found off stream, and it was this. So this looks like the either uh, Lakeside Kingdom or Seaside Kingdom. I'm thinking it's Seaside Kingdom. So there is a moon there. So actually, you know what? I need to go to the Seaside Kingdom and try to find this moon in this picture. And there also was a, a gentleman from Tuscarina, which he is in a cab. So if I go to the Peranza Plaza, and he mentioned something about going above the clouds or above, above the, the sky or something like that. Above and beyond, that's what he said. So my guess is that they are going to the Cloud Kingdom. So I think I need to go to the Cloud Kingdom, find them there, and then he'll give me a moon there as well. A suggestion for a game you should play, maybe off stream, or once you're done with Mario Odyssey, you Splatoon. <laughs> oh boy. Rax, you came in at the right time. <laughs> so yeah, Splatoon is a game that I will not play. Um, I know it's very popular, but uh, I don't have online for Switch. I'm not going to be paying online for Switch. 
mostly because um, I just I'm not gonna play the switch enough to justify doing that um, and yeah a, a friend of mine kind of ruined every the, the appeal of Splatoon for me so and that's a whole other story that I won't even get into but yeah Splatoon and me that's not gonna happen <laughs> I I respect Splatoon and how popular it is with people but uh, yeah just just not for me not for online his story mode that is free it doesn't need uh, okay yeah it's just there's a friend who kind of made me hate the game without even playing it so um I just don't see myself spending 50 bucks on it on a game that I have no interest in no personal interest And that's not knocking Splatoon. That's just... That's just... Um, hold on here. How am I doing this dive? Hold on. Um, what was I saying? I was in the middle of a thought. Um, but yeah, it's like, I, I don't... Nintendo games, first party Nintendo games, it's very rare for them to go down in price. So, yeah, I, I don't foresee myself spending 50 bucks on a game that I honestly have no interest in. Um, I appreciate the suggestion, but yeah, it's just not, not going to happen. And, and even so, I'm having enough fun with Mario Odyssey as it is. So, yeah, um, the game wants me to go to the next location. So, I guess I go to the Odyssey and uh, see... You know what? You know what I want to see is uh, where do you see the where do you see the creatures that you've uh, taken over? Hold on here. Capture list. Here we go. So I've captured a whole bunch of things up to this point, right? I'm assuming that there's really no way you can miss one. Oh wait, there is twenty. That's missing. Okay. And then these are the rest. Picture match part Mario. Oh, that was a puzzle I did. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right. So there's that. So yes, I need to go back to the Odyssey. But yeah, Nintendo games, first party Nintendo games. So Zelda, Metroid, Mario, Splatoon... Uh, Aria Animal Crossing, it is very, very rare that you will see those games ever go down in price. Um, outside of some random sale, but it is not, uh, it is not normal. Once it's $50, $60 or whatever it is, it's going to stay that price. So yeah, I was able to buy everything for uh, all the things for my points, so as you could see... Um, I think it's right up there, Luncheon Kingdom, Volbano, Mont Volbano. So now it is my time to put my Cappy on the globe and then collect all the moons. All right, 368 to 397, close to 400. So now I can travel to another kingdom. Now, is the story going to tell me... So, it's saying Bowser's Kingdom, right? But, but... I have a feeling I need to go to the Seaside Kingdom and collect this moon that was part of a picture. So, I think I'm going to do that. Before I forget, that picture looked like... Uh, at least it looked like Seaside Kingdom to me, so... Let us find out, shall we? Again, I could skip these cutscenes, I guess. But it's always cool to see every once in a while, right? And I don't think Cappy's going to tell me anything new. He's probably just going to go over a move. Yep. Round, pound, jump. Yep. Okay. All right, Seaside Kingdom it is. I'm pretty sure this is where the other... Uh, Where the other thing was. So I just need to find a cheap cheap to take over. And then I gotta find this. Uh... 
Now, where is that uh, picture? Good question, right? There's a big C. So, all right, you see a stack of a lot of little things. There's a coral reef on the bottom, a little rock on the second the highest thing. So I've got to find a a patch of uh, of things here. So I've got to swim around and look for stuff. And hope that I could find it. Right? So th these things are too big. Right? Not around here. Now again, I could be going the wrong way. It may not be may not be here, but is there a dash button? I don't think so. Whoops. I could have sworn there was a dash button. What do I do? Alright, something like this, right? See how these rocks look the same? So this is the type of rock that I need to look for, or this moon, wherever it may be. So something like this, you see. There was a dash. I forget uh, how to do it. You know what? It may be down here with the Sphinx. Wait a minute. It may be... Alright, there's a rock here, but it's on the highest, so it's not here. It may be somewhere around here, though. See, there's another rock there. Hmm. Alright, this is four. Nope. Wait a minute. It might be this. Yep. This is the one. There's a thing up top. So it's got to be... Yep. Found with Luncheon Kingdom Art. Look at that. Alright, so now I can switch back to the Odyssey. Found it. Perfect. Luckily it was in the area that I kind of thought it would be in. Alright. So now, just to satiate my curiosity, I'm going to go to the Cloud Kingdom and see if the Tostarina Taxi will be there with the uh, with another moon. Thank you. Yeah, just completely wild guess, but I guess you know after a while you kind of get a feeling for these things. All right. Now, will there be a taxi here? I have no idea. Maybe it's something that you get later on in the game. I have no idea. I don't see a taxi here. Again, it, it said above and beyond. So my my idea, my inkling is that it's somewhere here. No more hints. I don't see a taxi. And yes, there is the warp pipe. So again, this may may unlock later on. I don't see it. There's that box I can't get. I don't see a cab. Yep. All right. Picture match. Did I? Yeah, that's the one I did, right? Pretty sure. That's where where I unlocked the Mario picture. Or the Goomba picture, okay. So yeah, I did this one already. Just making sure there's nothing around. Okay. Alright. So it seems maybe my guess was wrong, but they said above and beyond. So unless there's a place higher than the clouds... I, I don't know yet. Maybe. 
there may be. So I, I will keep that in the back of my mind. But I guess Bowser's Kingdom is is next. All right, Bowser's Kingdom it is. Now I've tried doing this before and this ended me in the Cloud Kingdom. Or actually no, not even, it ended me in the Lost Kingdom when I tried going to Bowser's Kingdom. So what will happen this time? Am I getting towards the end game? I have no idea. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Travel tips, spin throw. Yep, I know that one. Now back to our investigation. Next up we have... Whoa. The Bowser in Bowser's Kingdom. Is that Bowser? I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, they're attacking the ship. What? Are we shaking? Why? It's Bowser's ship. There he is. On a dragon! Look at that. Let's see you survive this, plumber boy. Oh boy. And the ship is going down. <laughs> now, is that dragon something you fight later on? I, I would imagine so. All right, there goes Bowser. He's floating away. So where are we crash landing now? I have no idea. Ruined Kingdom. Crumbled in. Oh, this looks like Dark Souls. What is this? Wouldn't you know it? The Odyssey is broken again. To fix it, we must collect more Power Moon. This is legitimately Dark Souls right now. Wow. Fight that dragon in this kingdom? Oh, well, uh, that was my guess. All right. Now, this is my first time playing, so yeah, I, I don't know what's going on here. But yeah, this is legitimately a stage from, from Dark Souls. It's wild. I right, am just looking to see if there's anything hidden. Like, for example, there, there's a treasure chest I see already. Look at this. This looks pretty spooky, doesn't it, huh? a Mario game. Ah, uh, there's another platform there. Actually, there's two. Oh, okay, so that's something post-game. Now here, I can grab this chest. I think you could shimmy, right? Yes, you can. Grab the coins. And now, grab the uh, chest. And a moon. In the ancient treasure chest. Alright. So it seems I only need three moons to progress with the story. So I don't know if this is a small kingdom. Is it a big one? I have no idea. I don't think there's a map yet. Ah, but wait. There is the, uh, the flyer, so I always like to read. So bear with me as I absorb the lore of the ruined kingdom. A.K.A. Uh, Dark Souls. You know, uh... I don't know, Lord Ren. So it's Ruined Kingdom, Stark Land, long past its glory days. Alright. 
Crumbled in, a grim reminder of past conflicts. Population unknown. Size unknown. Locals unknown. Currency unknown. Industry unknown. Temperature average of 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Place Splatoon. <laughs> You're a funny guy, Rex. I'll tell you that. He's got jokes. Linnea, what's up? Linnea, Brent, and Logan. Happy Friday to you. Thank you for stopping by. Hashtag Woomy? What is Woomy? I'm not cool enough to know what that is. Hmm. I wish I knew what that meant. Uh, he's laughing, so obviously I, sh I shouldn't have said that. I, I have no idea what that means. I'm old. Buried to the hilt. Ooh, so these are like keyblades, kind of like Kingdom Hearts looking things, huh? Are they graves? I'm not sure. The moon frames the tower ominously. That's what Rich says. Wumi is an inkling or a octoling noise that you hear into this. Oh boy. Well, luckily Rich was not watching, or else he would be on cloud nine if I said anything related to that game. Anyways, high stakes. Amid the ruins, these swords surely stand out. They're thought to be left over from a large battle here in Crumbledon. One certainly feels a sense of intentionality in the way they're stuck straight down, as if fallen from the sky. Some see them not as swords, but rather nails or stakes. Perhaps the eyelets at the top allowed ropes or chains through to anchor something, but it's impossible to say what. Rax is writing that in big letters. I'm, you know what, you, you're free to say it along with him. I said it once, and that is all. Not happening again. Reaching for the heavens. This tower once collected energy from lightning into thunderclouds that constantly swirl here. Some say that it was destroyed by repeated lightning strikes, but others note the unnatural shapes into which the tower crumbled, and wonder if it fell into ruin for different reasons entirely. It looks like something ran through it, uh, which is probably that dragon. That's so just, just my guess. Very treasures. You'll see glowing spots scattered around on the ground. Engage in some amateur archaeology by giving them a hearty stop. All right, here is the map. I'm guessing uh, it it doesn't unlock until you, you travel it. Ruined dreams. Are there clues to what happened here? It's only because of the people of Crumbledon's skill in construction that there are ruins left here to see. Their building style was reliable and straightforward, but whatever they'd hoped to accomplish by harnessing the fearsome power of lightning remains unclear. Some have theorized that the circular plaza atop the tower was built for a standoff of some kind. The dragon is searching for its lost husband, a donkey named Donkey. That's incredible lore. Doesn't it look like a creature of some kind? Yeah, look at that. The stairwell I just climbed up right now looks like a mouth of a creature. The Great Altar. It's thought this altar was built so this former kingdom could communicate with, or perhaps confront, something. This is the only altar built here, and scholars have been keen to discover its intent. It's also said to be shaped like something in particular. The idea that it was meant to charge lightning has been disproven. This new th the new theory is that it was built to call something down, and then restrain the lightning. Are those... law marks? There's got to be a logical explanation, right? The stone here has numerous large slashes cut through it, often in parallel tracks suggesting giant claws. But that can't be right. What could claw through stone? Hmm. Three keys to the kingdom. One, visit the vast crumbling tower still standing watch over the area. Two, investigate the deep claw-like marks in the stone. Three, Admire the durable construction techniques of a once proud kingdom. All right. So moons, there are five here. There are no coins. No coins. Just moon, which I found one. I need to find three. But so I'm already, I'm already, I'm already on my way. 
Aha. What if I get these... Get here, I get coins, right? All right, again, always just, just look around. You never know what's around the corner, right? This is the chest that I just opened, right? Now, what's up here? Now, see, if I were... If I were the developers, I would see. I put invisible coins up here. Absolutely. Why not? What else can I see here? There's a, a spire up there. Mountains. A lot of bats. And then the circular tower, which I'm guessing is my uh, my goal. I'm supposed to go over there. Right. Spooky. Now what happens if I jump on this tower over here? There's another coin. Look at that. Alright. I answered my question. So that's good. Okay, so I'm supposed to ride the lightning. Where am I supposed to go? Up. Oh, you just go straight to the tower. Look at that. Oh boy, is that the dragon? Yeah, it probably is. It is. Oh dear. Okay. He's got a crown. He's a king. Alright, that's where he's going to shoot his flames. His lightning. He shoots buzz saws. Okay. Oh wait, what's this? Alright, hearts. Alright, this is my chance to climb them. And unsheath his shackles. Alright, so I need a time limit. I have a time limit to get all these things in. Alright. So now he's going to shoot lightning, right? All right, so now I've got to make haste. There you go, it works. Hit him. All right, so now his attacks come back. Buzz sauce, oh, more buzz sauce. Okay, and they also make an arc. Ooh, close. Alright, you know what? Do that until I get hurt. Alright, so now I've got to climb up again. I don't have a lot of time. Hit him again. We can do this. Alright, so normally it's three hits. I don't know if that changes. I'll find out. All right, so these things chase after you. All right. Can I knock them away with uh, Cappy? I don't know. Ooh. 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 All right. Ooh, I got hit. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, I got hit. Let me grab the hearts. You can't hit them. Alright, I thought you might be able to hit them. I wasted too much time. Alright, there you go. Three hits, just to his noggin. Not a particularly tough dragon, you just, um... Thought the fight would have been longer. But, I want to make sure... 
But you know what? I'm going to heal once I get the multi moves. So that's that's fine. But what if I climb him? What if I... Uh... Julie K, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Again, the game wants me to get the moon. But I want to climb the dragon and see how far can I go. Look at his wings, right? I mean, I'm sure I can't climb the wings, but... I guess... Yeah, it's just, just doom if I do that, so... Oh wow, I got hit by a snout. Look at that. All right. Well, how far? Hey, Jaden, I just fought the dragon. Oh my word, look at that. His body's cut off. It's the clouds, but that's how big his model is. Put your cap on both the horns. Ah, all right, so let's see here. His snout. Can I do that? Nope. His horns. All right, so... Right here. Just don't want to fall off. Hmm. Well, it didn't work. This seems to slide right off. But yeah, Jaden, no, no reason to say sorry, buddy. Or is it these horns you're talking about? Nope. Oh, seems to go right through. And yeah, the cappy just slides right off. His wings still move. But yeah, his body, as you could tell, it only goes so far. So So here's a little secret for those of you who are curious how game design works. So this is a giant model. This dragon is probably the biggest model that you've seen in this game so far. But uh, you see where those clouds are, right? You see where his waist kind of cuts off there. So I'm 95% sure that if you were to somehow take the camera past those clouds, that's all of the dragon that's available. Like, the rest of it would just be invisible. There's no, there's nothing there. I could be wrong. You know, they could actually model some of the dragon underneath the clouds, but usually when these game developers make these games, they want to do something called uh, resource uh, management. So basically, in order to make the game run as, as well as it does, you uh, say, oh boy, and I fell off. Just by talking. Silly me. Oh, do I have to do the fight again? I think I might have to do the fight again. I might have to do the fight again. I was talking mid-sentence. Well, alright. I mean, the fight doesn't take long, so that's, that's okay. That was totally on me. That's my fault. Alright, Jaden, well, you get to see me do the dragon fight. Probably got about 5% more dragon under the clouds, but yep, that's accurate. All right, so, well, all right. The fight happens again. It's not a long fight, so it's okay. That was my mistake for yapping. All right, so you just got to keep on moving. Can I take less damage this time? Is there an ideal place to, uh, to avoid the lightning? All right, so here you go. One, two, three, boom. Too bad. That's all right. I could, do, I could do it over again. It's not a long fight. All right, so second time over. Again, as long as you keep moving, these things should not hit you. Just got to keep in mind, at the end, they warp, they curve. All right, now lightning time. Now, I don't know if there's a safe spot. Ooh, that was my mistake. All right. Hey. 
All right. Now I can just find a heart and heal. Ooh, ooh boy, wow. One, two, three, four. Oh, my word. All right. Wow. All right, I still got hit twice. But now I'm not going to fall off the pit. So I'll be okay now. But yes, I just wanted to show you his body and then I, my momentum was too much and I fell. Luckily, the moon will heal me. All right. Battle with the Lord of Lightning. That's the name of the dragon. Okay. Back to the Odyssey. But certainly, excellent, we've got all the power moons we need. We can fix the Odyssey now. Oh, we don't have time for that. There's more exploring to be done, of course. But yeah, this, uh, this kingdom definitely looks a lot more like Dark Souls than anything else. Interesting visual choice for a Mario game. But see, Toad is here now, so... Toad will tell me where the other two moons are. So let me talk to Toad and see where the rest of the moons are. Absolutely. Alright, so it's back in the, where I fought the dragon. There should be one more. Also in the circular arena. Yep. Okay. So that's where I need to go. Go way on up. And there's the dragon. He's still down. So maybe that's what you were talking about. The finding the moons over there. Oh, there's a rocket. Okay. So that is an area. The dragon is awake. His eyes are awake. His eyes are open. They weren't open before when I defeated him, so that's new. So maybe that is a thing now, where maybe the crown or the horns have something. But look, his eyes follow you. And look, when you hit his eyes with Cappy, they close. Okay. Well, let me try using uh, Cappy now on the, on the horns. Yep. It does do it now. Okay, before it didn't. So to me, that was just a thing where you just have to go back. So, what does this horn do now? Alright, coins. Okay. Alright, so it's it would appear with the rocket there are two moons. So that's what I've got to do. Blast off into wherever this uh, area is. Look at this. Oh, there's a 2D section. Which are always nice. But again, always look around. You never know what you may find. So there's a P block. Interesting, if you look at the wall there, it's kind of like, uh, it's all 2D. So what is going on here? Oh, okay. So the P block will make that button appear. Aha. Okay, I don't know what that did.
All right, so it made that move. So you know what it is? I think with the P block, you need to stop it. I think that's what it is. Aha, okay. I see. You gotta time it. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. There you go. So then it becomes solid. Then you can climb up. Alright. That's what it is. Alright. Move around. All right, so you've got to run, and then just use the camera to look around. Yep, so you got to run, right? Just make sure there's nothing else. Now, there is another path up there. Okay. Ah, so there's two pieces. One, two, three, four. Right. Oh, that resets it. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, also, you just want to look around and see. All right, so that block just resets things, right? Aha, uh -huh, but wait a minute. All right, there was a heart. Just look in the sea. All right, there's more levels to this. Okay. Right? Just looking at my surroundings. You don't want to fall. That doesn't seem to be good. But just making sure there's no hidden blocks anywhere. All right. Aha, there's a moon over there. So I want to knock him out. Doing that. Ah, uh, not quite. Alright, so there may be something... A hidden block, maybe? You know what I needed to do? I needed to hop on top of the Koopa to get up there. So the game wants me to go this way, but... So the moon, I need. Oops, I need to be careful about where I go. And you know what? I can. Well, have them take each other out. All right. So now I can go this way. Ah, you know, I needed to hit a Koopa to break all of that. All right, so what I've got to do is I've got to hit this Koopa over here, knock him to the left, and chase him.
and watch him clear the path for me. Perfect. And then there's a moon up there. Right? So then I've got to stop this. One, two, three, four. Now I may not be able to reach that. Hmm. I'm actually might need to be the bottom. Whoops. Reset. Yeah, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There you go. All right. So I'm guessing this is the hidden moon. Roulette tower stopped. All right. So then now, can I get up there? I don't know if I can. Yes, I can. All right. Is there something up here? There is not. All right. So I'm supposed to keep on going. All right. So then I go this way. All right. So there is a right way and a wrong way. So there's going to be a moon at the end of all this, right? So I need to find the right way. Alright, so then middle. And then top. Nope. Messed up the timing. Alright. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And you know what? I can just throw Cappy to make it easier. Two, three, one, two, three. Oh, messed up. All right, come on. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There you go. And you know what? It, it's always, well, I should have maybe checked. All right, so you want to have a running start to clear the jump. And there is the second moon. Now, can I fall off? Yes, I can. All right, so... Just looking to see if there's anything. Roulette tower climbed. Alright, so those are all the moons in this kingdom. It would seem. Until maybe I beat the game, I guess. Maybe there may be more. Um, oh wait, there's one more. One more. So maybe that one appears when you beat the game. Alright, well I can go to the rocket now. And head on out. Okay. Can I pluck out his claws? Oh, they're hidden claws. Or hidden coins underneath his claws. All right, so probably the same for his other, uh, his other claw. I go underneath. Get those coins. Now, one of them may be a heart, but I'm already at three, so I don't think that'll work. It looks like I may be able to talk to the dragon. 
so tired. Okay. So if he's tired, what if I close both of his eyes? I don't think there's a way to do that. By making him sleep, maybe that does something, right? Alright, well, I guess that's it for now. Back to the Odyssey. It would appear that I can't do anything else for now. So... The other moon was probably where that uh, giant block is, which is over here. Again, post-game stuff, probably. This uh, metal block. He won't, yep, he won't give me any coins. So, yeah, I think that's it. Time to repair the Odyssey. But it has been fixed. Thank you for the 10 viewers. Says I have 10 viewers here. Appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for the subscription earlier. If you like what you see, please give the thumbs up. Let's my bosses at the library know that this is worth doing. So, I appreciate all the support. Off to Bowser's Kingdom, I guess. Unless there's another detour. So that was a quick kingdom. There's the dragon now. You see the rest of its body hanging on to the tower. Alright. 403 moons so far. What do you think, Jaden? I'm doing pretty good with moons, huh? 403. Well, that was certainly a doozy of an interruption, but I'm glad we got the ship fixed. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Homing cap throw. After throwing your cap, shake the pro controller again to perform a homing cap throw. Your cap will fly toward the nearest target you can see. It's super handy when your aim is a little off. This next kingdom is a very long kingdom. You'll see. Ah, okay. Is it the mushroom kingdom? You don't don't answer me. It's just a just a rhetorical question. But uh, yeah, I'm 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 curious to see where where else will I go? Well, there it is. Next, let's look at Bowser's kingdom. Hmm, architecture, statues, Bowser's castle. Wait, he's got his own castle. Man. We've got to help those two. Princess Peach and the other Cappy. I forget the name of the other Cappy. Okay. Onwards and upwards. Bowser's Kingdom. Bowser's Castle. Look at that. Looks very much like feudal Japan. Got green. Oh, a whole bunch of colored clouds. Is that poison? Infiltrate Bowser's castle. Oh, you got the stone guys. What are those guys called? This is it. The showdown. Oh, you even got some like ancient feudal Japanese music going on here. All right. This music's pretty cool. It's using that Japanese guitar, which I think is called the oboe. And the flute. But it's, it's a special Japanese flute, they call it. I, I forget what it's called. That is cool. Oh, wait a minute. A moon. Look at that. Aha. Caught on the iron fence. It, again, I, I did not look up anything beforehand. It's just my natural curiosity. So look at what's going on. Take off the flame. More coins. All right. All 
Alright, so the door's opened. The Goomba are even wearing the, uh... <laughs> the rice field hats. Oh my word. Oh, these, these flags are literally floating in midair. They're not being held on by anything. And also this bridge is too, is just floating in midair. Interesting, uh... Design choice. So yeah, these clouds, look at them. They're blue, green, orange. Right? I see purple, I see blue up ahead. So yeah, there's a, there's a lot of stuff to soak in in terms of uh, environment. I love the fact that the Goomba are, are just... Uh, <laughs> they're wearing... Oh man, that's funny. Um, all right, well, my first instinct is to get up here and see what's up above. I guarantee you there's a moon. Or something. One of these edges. I like the sound of these tiles. Uh, aha, you see. You see, there's always something. Is there another one? Yes, there is. Uh, is there something? Is there a way to get up? Oh boy. Yeah, don't fall, Mario. So this song... It sounds, again, maybe it's just my ears, it sounds like a remix of the uh, boss theme from Yoshi's Island. Um, the, 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 un, the, the song, the melody that you hear underneath, the... Uh, that's what I hear. Uh, Yoshi's Island. Alright. Something up here? There is not. Okay, there's something over there that says 10. I think you need to have 10 Goomba get up there. There are purple coins I see already. And normal coins. I like the detail of the tic-tac when you're walking around. Because that is exactly the sound that these tiles would make. There are birds here. Hidden coins. Is there another invisible block? Again, sorry, I'm just going at a snail's pace, but again, with, with this game, you know, by looking at every little nook and cranny, it's how you find things. Alright, so here is... what I'm looking for here. Again, I hope you don't mind the slow pace. It's just um, exploring. You know, exploring is what is really the, the main thing about this game is every location has something hidden. If you just take the extra bit of time, just explore. All right, so it says 10, right? How many Goomba are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. One, two, three, four, five, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I see nine. How do I get ten? I'm not sure. One, two, three. Oh boy. Alright, they are mad. But eventually they'll lose interest. And they'll go away. I kind of need to get them one at a time. Because... Just like so. Alright, how many are we at? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I get. I guess I count as one of them. All right. Well, now there's ten. And there is the moon. Stack above the wall. All right. I'm healed. I'm good to go. Now this window here. This window seems a little conspicuous, right? A little suspicious. Can't do anything with it. All right. Well, that's two moons so far. Before I get any further in this kingdom, let me look at the guide and see what the guide says. Bowser's Kingdom. Well-defended castle floating among glowing clouds. The castle that walled off the sky. Population middling, size sprawling. Locals are stairface ogres. Currency, oblong. Industry, Hanafuda cards. That's a, that's a Easter egg. So those are playing cards. Um, fun fact for those of you who don't know, Nintendo way back when, before they ever made video games, uh, that we're talking about uh, uh, before like World War II, uh, in the early 1900s actually, Nintendo was a trading card company. So they were playing cards. They made playing cards uh, before they ever made video games. So that is, I guarantee you, that is a Easter egg referencing Nintendo's origins. Temperature average of 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Jaden says if you stomp on a big stack of Goombas, it creates like a tornado of spiraling coin. Really? Oh, that's okay. I'll try that. Architecture as lovely as the scenery. Mallets big enough to climb on. Beautiful tile work. This kingdom's architecture is unique. Roofs are made of heavy layered tiles. That will not budge even if walked upon. They also create a uniformity in the overall design, enhancing the beauty of the place. Palace, I should say. Though you can move along the roofs, this palace rests quite high in the sky. And if you fall off, you will most definitely die. It's not the surest footing either, so be careful. Terrifying gatekeepers. Don't run afoul of the staircase ogres that guard this kingdom. When they spot an intruder, they bring their huge mallets down. No questions asked. On the other hand, you have to admire their tenacity and work ethic. Their scars on their faces show that they don't give up easily. The whole thing. All along the walls, these holes were meant to allow defenders to shoot at invaders. But nowadays, you're more likely to find a demon or a snake coming out than an arrow. All right, looks like there's islands that all lead up to the castle. And actually, this kind of looks like Bowser from an uh, above angle. This looks like his nose, his snout. I wonder if that's by design. Statues guard the court. The palace tower highlights the inner citadel. And the gate leading to it is guarded by fearsome statues. The statues are fashioned after gods of wind and thunder, the perfect motif for a sky palace. And since they are modeled on Bowser, the ruler of this kingdom, they serve as a warning to foes here and abroad. Statues are not, they're certainly imposing. Impressive fortifications. Surrounding the inner citadel are the second and third courts. The second court is especially fortified with many cannons to repel invaders. Cannonballs often roll along the ground and many tourists fall trying to evade them. Legends speak of invaders repelling the cannonballs with spears, but no mere mortal could hope to do this, so try not to get too close. Beware rolling ordinance. An oasis of calm. This elegant garden is a balm for the brutality of this kingdom and will help you forget all the hardships you face to reach it. You can even buy souvenirs, so be sure you stop by. These statues, called Jizo, stand in a row. Three keys to the kingdom. One, dart past the silent and lethal stair-faced ogres. Two, avoid being distracted by the ominous yet brightly glowing clouds. 
3. Survive the various traps designed to end your trip early. Alright, so as Jaden said before, let me try stomping on these Goomba here and see if I get a nice little reward. Where are they? They're right there. Alright. See if I can aggro them. Yep. Yep, I did get coins. Alright, cool. Alright, so just looking here at the edges. See if there's something I can find. Looks like not. And I am hopping to the next island. Ooh, that was cool. That sound effect. That's cool. That was uh, another Japanese instrument used. Crazy Clan Q. Hey, welcome to the NPO Video Game Club. Welcome. I am playing Mario Odyssey for the very first time. All right, I see purple coins up there. So I definitely want to go up to the rooftop. Who are these guys? They... I don't know what they do. Um, I don't know what... Poke. Jump. Okay. Oh, okay. So you can probably break through stuff with this, right? Like these boxes. And you can actually defeat the spinies. I think you can climb this wall if you poke it with something pointy. Perhaps. You just beat this game? Nice. It's really fun. Alright, so. Well, that's not fair. Alright. Well, I want to... I want to keep going. Goodbye, Spiny. Again. Oh, look at that. There is a heart. So I definitely want to get that. But I want to get these coins. Eight purple coins. All right. So I definitely want to get the heart. Oh, that's a moon. Never mind. Behind the big wall. All right. Perfect. Get him. Okay, so doing that makes you jump higher. Okay. All righty. Well, I guess I can... Get rid of him. And I just want to fan the flames. All right. I guess that's it for this area, this island. No, what did I do? Oh, my word. I warped to the other one. <laughs> alright, well, that's alright. I just need to beat this part again. Not too far, so it's okay. There you go. Alright, so. But now I gotta go over there. 
and the checkpoint. Third courtyard, rear. So far, it's it's not the worst. It's not as bad as it needs to be. But again, in typical Mario fashion, it's just going to get progressively harder. All right, so now I got to go up this way. There is a musical note. All right, so these guys, I can't. Uh, I can't hurt them. Alright, so what if I go up? Jonathan, what's up, bro? I'm in the Bowser Kingdom now. Yeah, I don't think I can hurt these guys. Alright, what if I... What do I... Oh boy, I gotta avoid... I took the hit. It's alright. I'll, I'll regain my health with the moon. Taking notes between spinies. Alright. Yeah, I know. I didn't, I didn't think about it in the moment. But it's alright. Alright. I got that. Now see, these uh, gold things here. They look like something that I could poke away with Cappy. Is there something on the side here? Nope. But yeah, those golden, like, nails or nuts on the wall. It looks like something that would open up later. Maybe. All right, so here we go. Oh, these guys. All right, so they are... All right, so Cappy just bounces right off. Alright, so I've got to, I've got to possess him. Or destroy him. Okay. That'll open up the drawbridge, I guess. Infiltrate Bowser's castle. All right, so that is five, those are five moons so far. Opens up the bridge. And the doorway to the next area. Smart bombing. All right. 8,461 coins. Eight... Purple coins. Now, I again, I just always like to look. Is there something I don't see? I'm sure I've got to climb these, and there's going to be something up there. So, my first order of business is to climb these walls and see what I could find. Like so. There's probably going to be something hidden. The game wants me to skip ahead, but no, no, no. There's always going to be something hidden. Always. Never trust the game. Like I said, purple coins, see? There's always something. On the other side, can I see? No. Alright. 
Just want to be careful I don't fall off because that is... That would be the end of me. Now, there's not a lot of pathway to walk, so just want to be careful. No reason to rush. Alright, there's another bird over there. Alright, just run around. This is where I came from. Again, just look around. Is there an invisible block? No. Now there's this bird. So I could get, I could climb back up. Right. All right. Now notice that hole is open. So that means something. There's a moon. Poking your nose in the plaster wall. All right. Tiny Rock, what's up, buddy? Happy Friday. There you go. All right. Collected another moon. Ah, look at that. See, there are... So what I want to do is I need to use the bird to basically fall and grab onto the walls. That's, uh, that's the idea. All right, so I want to try to land in between. No! <laughs> I didn't pull down. I hit up. That was my mistake. That was my, my mistake. All right, so uh, I already got this. So I can move on. That was my mistake. I hit the wrong button. You can stay for the right. Nice. How are you doing, Tiny Rock? How's your week going? All right, so. What I want to do again is I want to go... Back to where I was, because that's where the bird is. You've been sleeping? Hey, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Sleep is very important, so. All right, so. I've got to go back. I've got to bring the bird. Oh boy, oh, whoa. All right. So again, I made the mistake of pulling up on the uh, analog stick when I need to pull down. So luckily I got two. I just need to get two more, which are right there. And then I could just shake the controller to go up. All right. So that is 16 purple coins. Oh, well, look at that. I did not expect that. That is my mistake. Is there something underneath here? I don't think so. No, there isn't. All right. All right, there's probably another checkpoint. Again, just looking around to see if there's anything else. Now what's the next island? It is up there. I see purple coins. The lore. Look at all those purple coins. Luckily there's a checkpoint in all these, so that's good. Second courtyard.
Good luck on the boss fight. Thank you. All right, so you know what? I'm going for these coins here. Again, with the fire, you can just take them out with Cappy. But they won't hurt you. And there you go, 19. And you know what? I'm just going to go... Is there something? No. And you know what? There's something on the other side there. Three boss fights. Cool. Well, I guess I should be prepared. All right, so... This is the part with the... Um, with the rolling bombs. There is a moon fragment. So I have got to get up there. And look at that. I have got to use some platforming genius with these birds. I got to poke the wall, fall down, and keep climbing to collect those coins over there. Interesting. There's another moon fragment over there. Or purple coins over here. Whoops. 22. That is the other island I need to go to. Okay. Alright, so I could use the bird to uh, destroy the spiny. These boxes, though, how will they be destroyed? It would seem... the bomb, Can I control a bomb? You know what? Maybe there's a way... to uh, manipulate the bombs into hitting. Nope. Mm -mm. All right, well, it got him. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, oh, oh geez. Don't do that. Alright, so this guy can't destroy these. So at some point, I'm going to have to be able to take control of the bombs, right? Can I... Oh, you can! Okay, that's what you do. That's what it is. Alright. Alright. I literally figured it out as you wrote it, Jonathan. <laughs> All right, cool. A heart. All right, I just don't want to be too close. I don't want to get hit by the radius of the explosion. All right, so I got to angle this. There we go. Angle that. Angle this a little more. Then turn around. All right. Well, I've got a heart. I don't need it just yet. Hopefully, I won't need it with the spinies. All right, purple coins. Now that here, I can just take that over. Grab the fragments. You have to get the pokey thingy. <laughs> what are their names? I could probably find out in the uh, in the list of things I've controlled with Cappy. But there he is again. I'm going to need him, so yeah. I'm going to want to possess him again. But I will need him to get the purple coins over in this area. 
Now, see. Well, actually, right now. Yeah. Alright, I guess I've got to. Hit me just yet, so that's good. Oof. All right. So yes, this is where I need to go for the uh, for the purple coins down there. Get the coins while I'm at it. All right, so these guys just respawn. Interesting. Get out of here. There's another fragment there. Okay. Aha, wait a minute. Another moon. Poking the turret wall. Now there are purple coins underneath here. I know that. So that is a bit of a tricky one to get. Goodbye. I don't need you. Alright, so I'm going to line up. With those. Goodbye. Another fragment over here. Mr. Pokey, is that his name? Alright, that is all. Those are all the fragments. Don't, don't you fall. Don't you fall. Alright, there's something. Coins. Ah, more purple coins. I see. Alright. Their name is just Pokey? Okay. Alright, so I have got to strategically fall. And just hope I do this right. Climb up. Climb up. Alright. That could have gone really bad, but I got lucky. So you know what? Let me hit the uh, checkpoint. It's Pokio. Okay. Pokio. Alright, so the purple coin is also in this area here. Goodbye. Smart bombing. All right. This other area opens up. Not going to go in there yet, though, because there are purple coins behind me. So I definitely want to get those. Big brutal battle. Ooh. All right, but that's for a little bit later. Right now, I need to get this. Alright, so I am going to take over you, and I gotta figure out how to get this area here. Alright, so, I've gotta basically just fall down. And I've got to navigate Without falling. Like so. And I just did. 
that is my mistake. I keep hitting up, and that thrusts me down. So I, I, need, I need to be mindful of that. That's tough, though. His controls are awkward. All right. Wait until this bomb falls. That... That's what gets me. The <sighs> Maybe I need to flick to the sides and maybe that'll help me traverse. All right. Hold on. I will get the hang of it. Or maybe just too much momentum. I just couldn't even couldn't even grab on. Wow. All right, so you gotta go slow. Wait until this next batch crosses. Oh, boom. All right, so I might need to just shake the control. All right. No, why did... That was a delayed. What is going on there? Come on. Uh, that was a delayed reaction. For whatever reason, the input, it didn't read it. Until later. All right, left, 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 and ball. Left, 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 left. All right, hidden coins too. All right, then I could jump, spin, spin, and look at that, another moon. Treasure inside the turret. And there's a pipe. I get that. This will probably bring me back up. Yes, it will. All right. I need to go up there now. So I could probably come up this way. Just want to see if there's any hidden coins. Hold on here. Get up. And then... Here, I could probably... Do that. 36... Again, I've gone up that way. There's a moon up there. Okay. I wonder if that moon... Can I get up there normally? I see it on the right side there. Or do I have to do a long jump, cappy throw? Oh. I guess I'll find out. Yeah, it doesn't look like... doesn't look like I could do it normally. Well, actually, maybe. Yeah, I might be able to do it. Hold on. Come on. Okay. From the side above the castle gate. All right. A little, I wouldn't say I'm learning very well. Oh, look at that purple coins too. Perfect. 39 purple coins. He's learning guys. No, my, my cap, my cappy throw is not very good. Um, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. I, I, I'm hitting it in the wrong time, I think, is my, is my problem. But, little by little, I suppose I'm getting there. Alright, so this is, will bring me over to that island. 
Oh wait, no, there's an in-between. The shop! I've literally never seen you get up that way. Oh, okay. Alright, this is the, the rest area. Right? So I could use the umbrella to climb up. There's something up here. Doesn't look like it. All right. Oh, wait. Purple coins. Aha. I just got to throw Cappy. 42. Look at He's wearing a samurai hat. A samurai helmet. You want to get a look-see to what's going on inside? You got to be dressed for battle, friend. Don't look much like a samurai. Ah, okay. But is there something on the edge here? Just looking around, seeing if there's anything hidden. Oh, look at that. All right. All right, so... Can I help you, Mac? All right, so there's obviously somewhere I need to put this Mario statue. Maybe over here. No, I've got to go with these other ones. I've got to pose... Aha. Like so. Jizo all in a row. All right. Jizo, 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 Jizo probably is the correct pronunciation. Jizo. All right. There is a hole here. That looks like I could probably put the statue there, too. So... Did I guess it, or what? And another moon. Look at that, boy. Underground Jizu. Well, how about that? You see, when you've been playing games long enough, you start to understand, you start to see the signs of something hidden. <laughs> you see a different texture, you're like, wait a minute, that's not right. All right, that'll bring me back up. All right, so now I need to visit the shop. And see what's going on. I can get the moon. I can get the moon and also the uh, the full HP. I can get that. Now, 42 coins. Hopefully, I can buy the samurai outfit. But I want to get the moon. Shopping at Bowser's Castle. Thanks for buying everything. Alright, so the samurai outfit I've got to get with uh, coins. Samurai helmet. Samurai wore helmets that were functional and fancy. Yes. And I will put it on. The samurai helmet is really going to work on you. The samurai basically walked around wearing works of art. Yes, get that. The samurai armor is really going to work on you. Happy headband. Happy headband. This coiled headband is perfect when you want to cover just a bit of your head. Happy outfit. Traditional clothing designed to be easy to move around in a festival. Bowser's kingdom sticker. A sticker inspired by Bowser's Castle. 
paper lantern. These lanterns were found in Bowser's castle. In the old days, people used to walk around with them like flashlights. Jizo statue. Found placed all over. These guardian deities watch over travelers in silent protection. All right. I will buy these later. The samurai outfit is what I want. That's what's going to get me what I need. And just checking to see if there is a moon. Doesn't seem to be. Alright. Just checking because one kingdom had a moon behind the shop. Alright, so now I can talk to the guy. We just get these coins while I'm at it. And he should let me in. You want to get a look-see to what's going on inside? You gotta be dressed for battle, friend. That armor! You look like a samurai. Well, step right in. Right this way. Alright. Somehow this little house is gonna have a... a coin... Alright, explain to me how the little hut is giant. Good question. There's a wall here. That I guess is gonna... Well. Gotta find out... What's going on here. Oh, whoa. That is cool. So that's like a Japanese... Uh, a curtain. Or a door. Now, this song is an 8-bit version of the uh, <laughs> Bowser's Castle. That's cool. I like the uh, Japanese sound. Oh, look, more pages. That's cool. All right. I got to fall down. Right, I'm digging the sound. Too. Oh boy. I jumped way too soon. That was on me. That was definitely on me. Silly me. I just... Was looking at the background. That's completely my fault. Do over. All right. There we go. <laughs> now, how many pages are there in this uh, thing? I don't know. do with these uh and so the moon taking notes in the folding screen all right Always just want to double check to see what's on the sides. All right, so what I want to do is I want to knock him down and then bring it down with me. Scene of crossing the poison swamp. 
Two moons. Wow, first try. That took me forever for some reason. Hey. I'm just more used to the 2D scenes, I guess. Because, you know, th that's what I grew up on. So that it's a little more natural, for me, I guess, would be the... Uh... Can I climb? Nope. Is, can you even grab that? Oh, you just hit the wall. Alright, well that's two moons. I'm pretty sure that's it. For this area. Very nice. So you know what? I can go ahead and buy a heart up again. I think you could just get it over again. That way I get 6 HP, yep. Alright, luckily you can keep buying that. It's 556, so I'll go for another 20 minutes, give or take. We'll see how far this goes. I, I know Tiny Rock mentioned there were uh, boss battles, so... I'll see. Alright, this is where I'm supposed to go. Forty-two out of a hundred purple coins. Fifteen out of forty-five uh, moons. Gonna get going, Jay. Thank you so much for hanging out, man. Thank you, thank you, Squarepex. Please, congrats on your recent milestone too, man. Uh, upwards and onwards for your challenge. Just uh, keep doing what you're doing. You're doing some uh, really interesting material. So keep at it. Enjoy the weekend with your with your family. And until next time, thank you for your continued support. All right, so I gotta go up here. Wait, hold on. Did I see a eight-bit Mart? No, I didn't. I thought I saw an eight-bit Mario. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate it. All right, so on to this big bad boy here, the brutal battle. All right. Dragon heads. I kind of just want to get the checkpoint and then explore. If it lets me. I don't want to activate a fight. I don't have to. Main courtyard entrance. Alright, so. What I want to do is climb up. Oh boy. Alright, that, that wasn't what I wanted. But, nonetheless, let me just look around. There's a painting here. Alright, so it doesn't activate until later, I guess. Get these lanterns here. Shut them off. They can climb. They turn back on. It really uh, is weird how these banners just float in the air. This is kind of weird. Oh, wait a minute. This guy I can control. Okay, so I need to move him somewhere. What do I do with him? Do I need to move him? Hmm. Where does he go? Oh, there's another lightning bolt up above there. Where does he go? I didn't see a thing on the floor for him, so... But there's got to be something for him to do. Ah, right there. It glows. Okay.
There's somewhere else he goes. Hmm. Ah. Alright, there's two more. Okay. Oh, more places just, just pop up. Interesting. Okay. Do you eventually get a moon by by doing this? I've already been here, so I don't, I don't think so. Oh, wait a minute. Do I see... I think that's it. You know, I don't know. Anywhere else that would uh, start the bell? I don't want to aggro these statues yet. I never understood it. Maybe it's just for hidden coins and stuff in the ground. Yeah, I'm just looking to see if there's anything. Let me look. Okay, there's purple coins there. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I need to put them back? It, it, it seems like there's more to it. Maybe it's something that when you defeat Bowser or the, the Brutals here... It opens up more of the area, and maybe that might be something. Look at that island over there. That is what this lightning uh, is doing. Alright, so over here. Like so. Or the purple coins. It's on the other side. Alright, so before I do that, let me go up here. Alright, 45. Yeah, but before I do any Bowser stuff or Brutal stuff, I want to use that lightning bolt up there. Yeah, uh, see? Tiny Rock, it's not... It's not... Uh, I still don't have it down. I, I can't get it consistently to work. Alright. Yep. That's where I want to go. This is a whole bunch of puzzles. Right, so these guys... I think I've got to have them break these boxes. That's what I think I've got to do. I've got to trick him into breaking these boxes.
Sounds like he says game over when he smashes. All right. There's got to be a moon somewhere in breaking all of these things. But it does sound like he says game over. Alright, once I beat him, it should unlock a moon. That's my guess. Yep. But yeah, it does sound like they say game over when they uh, smash the ground. Exterminate the ogres. Alright. So that is that. Again, because I didn't have time to look when the ogres were smashing everything, just to see if there's something hidden, which it doesn't look like there is. So I guess back I go. You know, it's interesting. The clouds, the way they're the way they're built around here, make it look like giant trees. They look like trees. All right, so I guess uh, all right. There's a heart, so that's telling me there's going to be a fight. So I should probably keep that there in case I need to run back to it. Another heart, yeah. There's there's some type of fight happening here. So you fight these guys over again? Yep, the wedding's almost here. The boss is getting ready and to keep up ahead. Alright, so I guess you fight these guys again. Typical video game fashion. You fight all the old bosses before you fight the new one. And because it's a circular area, that's where you fought them before, so. But you two can scram, because you're definitely not invited. Alright, so she throws the hat. Oh, she swings those things. Alright. Alright. You gotta hit it back to her. That's what it is. You gotta... All right, so now she spins around. All right, so you can't do anything with those. The flame still stays. Ugh. I'm gonna do it in time. Alright. Just gotta watch where they're gonna land. I don't know why I got hit by that. That was silly. You probably can't heal, too, so... All right, come on. Twice. All right, got to hit her one more time. You can't get rid of the flames. 
So just general direction where Mario is. And you just gotta watch out where they're gonna land. They're back. There she goes. Can't believe I got hit by the lava. Ooh, wow, one statue gets destroyed. Look at that. Alright, so I can heal. Again, hit the checkpoint. And then... Yeah, the other Brutal. Hey, <laughs> hey, the boss wasn't kidding when he said you're too... You two are persistent. But I owe it to the family, to all the Brutals, to come at you with everything I got. I forget what his whole thing was. All right, you got to send the hats back to him, right? I think. I forget. I got greedy. So basically, the more hats he has, the larger the radius. trick where when he spins you ground pound him on him like damn him oh really okay just want to wait for him to do his thing just want to make sure these hats don't come to haunt me oh jeez he just immediately stood there There he goes. So when he does his spin, you can actually jump over it. Uh, I guess that kind of makes sense. All right, so there they go. And the other heart I got was over here. All righty. Aha. I wonder what these Japanese symbols mean. All that for just one coin. Wow. Big brutal battle. All right. Well, that's only two of them. There's still two more brutals, right? The the yellow guy and the, the older lady one with the dog.
Showdown at Bowser's Castle. I see there's purple coins over there. There is something over there on the left. What is that? Yellow. I can't tell what those are. Hey, Tiny Rock, welcome back. So I just defeated two of the Brutals here. Alright, one. Just uh, looking to see if there's anything. We finally reached the main courtyard. Hmm. Happy's not going on him. Whatever reason. Oh, those are spikes? Okay. Yeah, it's too hard to tell from this far away. Alright, well, I want to hit the checkpoint for sure, but I want to go up and see uh, what I could find. Obviously, purple coins were on the other side. Aha, uh -huh. they are spikes. Okay. Never seen them before. Can't do anything to them. Okay. <laughs> ah, purple coins. Look at that. 48. Now, usually when you see birds, that means something. Usually birds indicate something's there. This horn, you could probably throw Cappy at. purple coins. Alright. So this is the main entrance. More birds. Okay. I can shimmy... That's interesting. There's like a pipe I can shimmy across. And the pipe leads down... Down over there. Maybe I can't shimmy. Maybe there's something where there's an electrical current and I can follow it. Yeah, see, there's that electric thing over there. Yep. Oh, purple coins down here. All right. Fifty-four. All right, more spikes. Now, there's going to be a way to get up there, I think. Maybe these spikes are removed when you defeat Bowser. Maybe. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Bound behind bars. Look at that. All right. So you know what? To get those coins, I've got to shake the controller to get those coins. That's what I got to do. All right. I forgot. All right. Is there something else here? Alright. 
Got those. So 39 coins. Alright, I think I got everything at least in this opening area. Oh, whoops, that did not work. All right. So obviously there's an area underneath there. That's something. This box, uh, post-game stuff, I'm guessing. I can't break it right now. This courtyard, I haven't looked at. These birds will continuously go after me, huh? Did they break these boxes? I don't know, can they? Go on, rob the robot here. Those are cannonballs. What is over there? Nothing for now. Is there anything underneath? Nope. Anything up there? Nope. Alright. So I can go left. I can go underneath. And then there's that water area there. Well. I need to get some air. Alright, there's a moon. Alright, so time to get that moon. Sunken treasure in the moat. Alright, but there is another side to this, so... I will have to, uh... Go up. Go around. I hear a moon. You know what? I've got to kick this rock over this way. Aha. Uh -huh. Gotcha. Is this guy a moon? I don't want to knock him away, so... Jeez. All right.
All right. Goodbye, Spiny. Can this bird go underwater? I, mean, I don't see anything down there, but... Oh, he can't go down. Alright. What is here? Aha! Got Mario. Okay. Yeah, I just found out. Oh, well. Uh, Alright, is there... There's something else shaking here. Ah. Right. Cool. Um, there doesn't seem to be anything else. Wait a minute, I heard the sound of a moon. I heard the sound of a moon. I hear a moon. Huh. I hear it down here. That's interesting, because that's where I got the other moon. I hear the jingle of a moon. Yeah, I know, yeah. I, I want to be careful, yep. But down here... Very faintly, I can hear the hum of a moon. Of a moon. Huh. What am I missing here? Maybe I'm going crazy, but I, I hear a moon. Alright, well I need to get him climb up. Maybe it's one of those boxes I need to destroy, so... Either way, I've got to climb up the wall with him. Alright, so... I hear a moon, man. That is so str- Oh, wait a minute. There it is. Okay. So I have got to chip away at this wall and there's the moon no uh, all right that's i hit it too too many times so i was right there is a moon there so now i know what i have to do all right I wasn't crazy. I heard a moon. Alright, so it's over here, right? There it is. Hidden corridor under the floor.
I knew it. All right. So I wasn't crazy, so that's good. Other hearts. All right, so now with this, I have got to just keep hitting them. And make my way through. There's a checkpoint over there. All right, good. So, and I'm back. All right, so I think that's it. I don't think I can use this guy anymore. So I've got to trick this guy into smashing these boxes. And there goes the moon. Up, oh, wait. I want him to destroy this. All right. Inside a block in the castle. All right. What is up this roof here? Question block. But I don't want to touch the spikes. But there's something up. Oh, there's Captain Toad. I was walking along these rooftops for so long, I got lost. But I found this power moon, so it's not all bad. Good to see you, Captain Toad. Now, which way was I headed? That's a good question, Toad. Unfortunately, I can't help you there. You're going to have to find your own way home. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck on that one, Chief. All right. Um, oh, so you know what? I do need to be the bird to climb up here. All right. I mean, what is it? It's 636. You know what? Since there's no stream next week, how about we go into... Oh, oh man. How about we go until 7? I can heal? No? Yeah. Oh, boy. All right, that's that's my mistake. I mean, we tend to go till 7 anyway, so... All right, hopefully I can heal. So yeah, might as well go till 7. Oh, look at this. You get to... Uh,
All right, so now I can just ride the wall. Very nice. And then when I'm ready... Then flick off to the middle. There's more purple coins there. Okay. No, nope, nope, nope. I almost fell. All right. I recovered. So that that's that's good. All right, so I definitely want to get those. I hope there was no moon on those other uh, platforms. Inner wall. Just got to climb a bit farther. Ah, but what's what's this? There's something there. Oh, wait, there's a hole. Wait a minute. Hell <laughs> yay, is, 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 uh, is Logan happy that I'm going overtime? I, I tend to always go overtime anyways. Even if it's intentional or not, but and I just you gotta leave off at a good part, a good part, right? All right, so I can't, I can't climb up. But see, there's that wall over there with the purple sludge. It makes me feel like I want to go there, but hmm, how would I get over there? I mean, possibly I could. Maybe once I get up here, I could just drop down. See, I just, just feel like there's something there on the other side. Hmm. All right, so. All right. Do I bother getting all the coins? Probably. Probably bypass. Yep. All right. And look, another checkpoint. Cool. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Beneath the keep. All right. Well, there are. Oh, wait a minute. All right. Now, see, there are spikes everywhere. I don't think I need this guy anymore. I don't think so. All right. I get him. Get Cappy on these dragon heads. Maybe get some points. Alright. 
There's a lightning thing there, so I'm going to travel somewhere. There's that. There's that. Aha, cat. Cat peach. Look at that. All right. Just making sure I get all the dragon heads here. And you know what? I have a feeling that there is something on the sides of these uh, buildings here. I just got to be careful with how I jump. See, there's a, there's a pole over there. And what is on... Ugh, if the camera would let me see. Wait a minute, there's something underneath. There's something underneath. There's something underneath. If I jump off... Hmm. Oh man, alright. This may be a foolish jump. Okay. Hidden coins, hidden coins. Right? Why would this be here? You can't get anything. Huh. All right, so maybe post-game something opens up here. There would be no reason why there's a platform with nothing to do. You know? Doesn't seem right. Now the question is, uh, I'm assuming I have to just warp back to the uh, checkpoint. But see, the game won't even let me look underneath. There's another pool over there. All right, beneath the keep. So I got 15 more minutes to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, all right, so you know what? Let me go on this left side now and see what is up. Um, it, just, it just seems too suspicious, you know. All right. Just a lot of open space, and it just seems like there's something hidden. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But now is the time to try to find out what, what's uh, what's going on here. You know, again, this game has taught me do not trust anything. I was even looking at the sludge there underneath the bridge. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a moon over there. Which, if you see, there's a there's a bridge up ahead, a little wooden part. So maybe if I go around, there's a way to go underneath. Yeah, again, just my my uh, my I my, oh wait a minute, this is this is a new area. See, there's a seed and a plant that helps you go up there. You see. There is something. All right, come on. All right, so now I've got to make this jump. <laughs> All right, so I've got to make a leap of faith. All right.
Purple coins. Just walking around. No hidden coins here. Okay. Just looking for hidden blocks. I don't see any. But this is why you explore, because there's always going to be something, right? Always, always. This game is just, it's just not going to, not going to do it the easy way. All right, so. Are there any hidden coins here? No. What about over here? Just got to make sure I don't fall off the edge. All right. So they're spiny. So what I got to try to do, I have to try to push them over the edge. So have them come over here. And then knock them over the edge. Goodbye, spiny. Now, if I can get rid of them all, that would be great. Goodbye, Spinies. Don't want to have to deal with you. All right. Hopefully they don't respawn. I really hope not. All right. I got to be careful. And then I also want to throw... Get my coins. Grab this. And then just make sure I don't touch the spikes. Alright, and then I can throw the seed, get that bad boy to climb, then I could wall jump, get those coins. Aha. But see, at some point, this door does open. What causes it to open? I don't know. Not quite sure. Hidden coins. And jump on the branch. And just keep climbing. 61 purple coins so far. Oh, look at that. It keeps going. All right, so there's a hidden area. Look at that. Perfect. Just finding secrets left and right. That's fantastic. I love it. This is another moon area. All right, these guys... Oh, boy. All right, these guys are no fun. Because uh, you can't control where you're going. So I've got to jump... Oh, man. And I think I might just have one shot at whatever this is. Now, this song is from um, Super Mario World. On the Super Nintendo. This is a remix. All right. And I fell. How about that? You gotta just, just do it again. Yeah. He didn't jump in time. Wow. The, the jump just didn't work. kidding me? Goodbye. Wow, man. You gotta keep doing this if you fall. That stinks. 
That really stinks. I hope it's just one moon, but sometimes these uh, bonus areas have two. I have no idea. Alright, keep going. Just ride. Ride divine. Somehow he did jump though, which was strange. Alright. There you go. All right. I know it's not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to go straight the whole time. There's another moon here. Dashing through the clouds. All right. Um. Well, I I work tomorrow, Jaden. Um. So I, I know Gianni has his party right tomorrow. Uh, I have to actually go into work in the morning uh, until the afternoon. Um, and then I'm going to the movies after. So I don't think I'm going to have time. Because I know the, the party is in the afternoon, right? What, what time is it? Because I work until like 1 or 2. And then there's a movie I go to at 4. And then there's a second movie I go to at 7 o'clock. Um, so yeah, I, I won't get out of the theater until maybe 9 o'clock or so. And I know Dia has, uh, she has work to do, I think, too. But she might stay over with you guys tomorrow. So I think Dia might sleep over, I think. I mean, I'm actually going to be in the movie theater in Trumbull. Um, where we're going to see Godzilla next week. But I don't know. I, I'll have to ask. Uh, I'll have to ask your parents. Because uh, I know Dia might stay over. I, she might have to check with your mommy and daddy today. Uh, I don't know if. Because I'll be in trouble. Maybe I, I might try to sleep over too. But I, I don't know. I haven't figured it out. I haven't, I haven't really thought about it to be honest. What up Gianni? What up Brooklyn? All right, so that's one moon. What is next? There is this. There's a moon at the very end. All right. As long as I stay in a straight line. Oh, well. Oh, well. No! <laughs> and I fell off. Oh, man. You're sleeping over two racks? Nice. It's a party. I'm actually going to see a, a scary movie, boys, in the theater. It's a movie called, uh, what is it called? The Devil. What is the movie I'm going to watch? It's a scary movie. I know you boys watch them with, with Chris. It's a movie that came out in theaters. It's only in a few theaters right now, but it actually looks really good. Uh, what is the movie I'm going to watch? Late Night with the Devil. It's like, uh, it's a movie that takes place in like the 70s, and... It's about uh, a talk show that says that apparently somebody's possessed. It looked interesting, so I figure I'll catch it tomorrow. It's only playing in Trumbull, so I'll, I'll go there after work. Bring in the snacks? Nice. What you got? What you got? Pretzels? Combos? My nephews, they love... Uh, what do you boys love? You love... I mean, the chocolate chip cookies you guys have are really good. I'm just going to get this moon, this last moon up here, and then, yeah, that'll be it, because it's 6.55 already. I already got one moon up there, one more moon, and then I'll go to the checkpoint, and then I'll, then I'll do next stream, yeah. As long as I don't mess up. Easier said than done. All right. Make sure get all those. I 
I got every coin. I did it. I got every coin. All right, so where do I go now? Beneath the keep, right? That was fire in the sky, Linda. You were exactly right. This area is good for coin grinding if you don't have blank in post game. Oh. Okay, I like the redacted. That's that's a good touch. Keep keep a little air of mystery. All right, so right now, 76 out of 100 purple coins, 24 out of 45 moons. And uh, yeah, just right outside this main area um, here, beneath the keep. The only thing I would check is maybe over here, because there was that little wooden part. Ah, see? Oh, wow. I would need to get... I would need to get one of those bird guys here. Holy smokes. I did have him up here, actually. Look at that. I would need to bring him up. So I can go in that hole. And that hole might get me the... Uh, there's two. Oh, man. So I would have to bring one of those bird guys up. So I'd have to I'd have to bring him from up from over here. From this other. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I what I have nine thousand one hundred sixty-seven coins, right? <clears throat> All right, you know, all right, last thing is this. I'm, I'm going to get the bird guy up here. I'm going to get up there, get that last, whatever those holes are. I already got the coins, so I don't need to get every single one. I skipped coins on purpose on those spinning blocks. Oh, in, in that cloud area? Yeah, I mean, the, those that area was ridiculous. So, yeah, I mean, I within reason. All right, so this spiny, goodbye. All right, so what does this do? All right, so that's that. Okay. Oh. Ah, a moon. Look at that. Poking your nose by the great gate. Am I married? No. No, sir. That looks like a good movie. Want to see that? Yeah, so it's, it's going to be uh, streaming. Uh, there's a horror streaming... Uh, app. I think it's called Shutter. It's going to be on there I think in like a week or two but it's coming out in just a few theaters first and I, I, I look really good so I figured I'll check catch it tomorrow. Um, Alright so that, I got the moon. Perfect. So I think that's it. Let me uh, hit the checkpoint. Save. And uh, so what does that bring me to? That brings me to 25 out of 45 moons. 76 out of 100 coins. So yeah. I am good. Let me save. And you know what? I'm paranoid, so I will always save twice. That's just me. But uh, let me uh, just say a shout out to everybody who popped in today, man. I appreciate all of you coming on in. Helping keep the chat lively. Pearl, Henry, Square Pegs. Appreciate it. Rax the Great, of course, and he said he's going to bring the snacks, so that's cool. Linnea, Brent, and Logan, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, Jaden, Jonathan, Crazy Clan Q, Tiny Rock, thank you for stopping by. Um, appreciate it, appreciate it. Great stream, everybody. Gianni wants a shout out. Shout out to, okay, shout out to all my nephews and nieces. So, Jonathan, Jaden, Gianni, and Brooklyn. Thank you. 
for being cool. Thank you for watching my stream, watching me play some Mario Odyssey. I'm catching up with you, Jaden, catching up with, you, with your moon. So I'm at, uh, I don't know, in total, it's like 400, over a little over 400, I think, right now. So cool. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. So again, just as a reminder, next week, uh, there will be no stream because the library is closed um, in observance of Good Friday. Um, so sorry for the noise there. That was just my mouse. Um, so yeah, so we are closed next Friday, Good Friday for March 29th, and as well as Easter Sunday on March 31st. So there is no stream next Friday uh, in observance of the holiday. I'll actually be with my nephews, Jonathan, Jaden, Gianni in Brooklyn. We'll be watching Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire. So I'll be watching that with them. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for stopping by. Appreciate all the support. If you like what you saw today, give a thumbs up on the stream. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. That way you get a notification when uh, I go live. Again, it's every Friday from 4 to 6. And, you know, what? let me switch on over. And I'm not going to put the next week because I am not here next week. So... Uh, it'll be next uh, two weeks from now, so it'll be April the 5th. I will see you next month. So, on behalf of everyone here at the library, um, oh, what did you say, Jay, Jay, Jonathan? I think you should stream twice a week. That would be nice. Yeah, it's just unfortunately, um, I mean, the library really only gives me the time on Fridays to do it because I am at the library every other day of the week. And Fridays is the day that I, that I do this from home. So, uh, I mean, and I also can only keep it at really at the time it is now because I, I can't really go on much longer because uh, the library closes at that time. So I have to kind of like keep it within the schedule of the library. But um, I mean, yeah, it would be nice to do more to play uh, to play to catch up on Mario Odyssey. But, uh, you know, hey, it, it's... It's a schedule. It's a it's a rigid on Friday. So hey, it works for me. It's all good. But but thank you for, for the words, anyways. But yeah, on behalf of everyone here at the library, uh, we do wish everyone here a fantastic and safe weekend. Please enjoy your time with family, friends, and loved ones. Our tomorrows are never guaranteed, so please uh, live your life the best way you can, and be kind to one another, please. It's a, it's a scary world out there, and there are a lot of mean people out there, but don't let that affect you. Don't let that change you. The power of positivity is really strong. You never know. It just being nice to your fellow, fellow person and stranger, somebody could be having a really bad day or a bad week, and just by being kind to them, you know, hold the door for them outside, you know, uh... If you're out, get a restaurant, you know, like, hey, let me pay for the person behind me. Or, or just, you know, just listen to people, you know, um, give them directions or whatever th they need. You know, and a little bit of kindness goes such a long way. You can really change somebody's whole day or week around just by being nice. So it is a, a you know, like they say with Spider-Man, great power comes with great power comes great responsibility. And uh, we can all use a little bit of that in our lives. So thank you so much for watching please be safe enjoy the weekend and again i will see you here next month it'll be april 5th on friday we will go live at npl video game club and hopefully i will fight bowser and see what happens but thank you for being along on this journey and i will see you here next time on the npl video game club so long everybody